Hi Cancer, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is a general reading. I'm going to be looking at four different areas of your life, the present position, which is meant to validate that this is your reading, your strength, your challenge, and then the possible outcome. Spirit, may please have the present position for Cancer. What will validate this reading for Cancer? Spirit, what will validate this reading for Cancer? Whoops. Okay. We've got two flying out at us here. All right. And, oh, you want to put this. Okay. We'll leave that there. Spirit may please have the strength for Cancer. Okay, you, they want me to switch this over here. This is the strength, Cancer. May I have the challenge, please? What is a challenge for Cancer? Oops. What's the challenge, Spirit? And we have the outcome. Oh, we have a lot of cards here. Um, where do you want this? Um, okay, thank you. All right, sit back, relax, Cancer. It's going to be one of those readings <laughs> that go on a bit. Uh, Spirit, may I please have the um, tarot to clarify the angel wisdom cards for Cancer? What will validate this reading? What will inspire, motivate? and give cancer answers to questions they are seeking spirit may I please have the present position spirit oops present position for cancer thank you present position spirit May I please have um, the strength? May I please have the challenge spirit? May I please have the challenge? May I please have the, what's good in the outcome? What can um, cancer expect? What will motivate them, inspire them, help them to make the difficult decisions that they need to make? What will lead the way for them and light the way for them? Spirit, what is the good news coming in for cancer? Whoa. You want that? Spirit, outcome, what's good in the outcome? Yes, okay, thank you. What's good in the outcome? What's good in the outcome? Thank you. Okay, Cancer. This is what is going on with you. Okay. So first of all, for those of you that don't know me, I'm a psychic and a medium. The spirit world channels through me. Very important that you take the present position, which I'm about to go into right now. If the present position doesn't resonate with you, one of two things are happening. You're either watching this reading too early, put it in a playlist, come back in about two or three weeks, or this reading just isn't for you. Don't continue with the reading. This reading isn't for you. So what you will hear from other readers is take what resonates and leave what doesn't. In my readings, because I'm a psychic and a medium, please do not do that. 
If there's 8 billion people in the world, this reading is only meant for a handful, okay? So please trust your instincts in that regard. So here, starting off your reading, what we have for you is the Nine of Wands. Spirit, bring it forward. Why do we have the Nine of Wands? Clarified that by the Magician, clarified by the Five of uh, Wands in the reverse. So Spirit shows me um, you have, you're back in form, Cancer. You are back in form. Independent, um, absolute, uh, with the what you've gone through in um, the last year has been extremely difficult and extremely it's it, it's really been a powerful um, year for you now I'm going from kind of like October last year or maybe all of last year depending on how that resonates with you but Spirit is showing me in one year period from last October to the end of this October. And that, um, it's been extremely challenging. You've fought the good fight. And where you are now is uh, you're on the other side of that battle. Um, and here we have the Five of Swords, sorry, the Five of Wands to show that um, lo lots of conflict in your life that was going on. And here, as we move forward with you, what we have you doing is um, avoiding conflict at all cost, respecting differences in others, agreeing to disagree and accepting the diverse nature of those around you. You have gone through so much at this point, Cancer, that it's kind of like, you know what, let's agree to disagree. I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> um, but your spirit is just kind of playing it out for me now. So it's not like um, you have a change of heart about things. It's just kind of like you have deeper insight into who you are because of what you have come out of the other side from. And so what we have you, there's a lot of communication here. There's a lot of hidden emotions here too. You have um, a tendency at this point point at this conjecture of your life to protect what you have created and you are going to protect it you're you're prepared and you're never going to give up it feels like you're back in your juju cancer that's all i can say juju -ju. i use the word juju for basically it's kind of like um who you are the spirit within you that higher self the soul right that strength that's within you not the physical force that that comes out on a daily basis but that kind of deeper state of being so what we have you is um doing is you're back in full form there's a lot of communication around you um, and it's directed at you. There's, and it's communication on both. You're, you're now where you've been in perhaps hermit mode for, you know, or withdrawn in many aspects of your life. You're now ready to take charge here in the nine of wands of different things that you've had to shelve or put on the back burner. Um, and you are now ready to pull your energy forward and to be creative and to ask the divine for help in situations that you need help with there was there's been a disconnect a little bit with you and your higher source um your source never leaves you god never leaves you but you know in the physical world we can get very very detached from it at times when we are going through hardship but you know that's the um footsteps in the sand uh poem that is so beautifully told so if you never heard that before look up footsteps in the sand and that's kind of what you've been going through but now you are reconnected there seems to be you taking charge of your environment and um so if you're in a role of kind of being there for others i see you coming full force back into that you know what's coming really loud and clear to me um cancer is communication communication at all levels of your life is at the forefront of how you're going to kick off this next year um, from now until the end of 2024 there's going to be a lot of communication you're on your a game you're going to get things done you're going to tie things up you're going to put things neatly away you are back um, 
to spirit just told me manifest and here we have the the magician to um to show us that right so what we have you is taking action um thinking about ways of making what you're doing have some type of legacy so you're really thinking long term you're thinking about how you're going to manifest and create power use everything at your disposal to create um the legacy that you can see touch feel taste know that that it is yours now for some of you it is family for some of you know like creating that family creating that structure um for some of you it is love and manifesting love for some of you it is career for others of you is love and career so meaning kind of putting those two things more into alignment for others of you it has to do with everything right it has to do with everything that you are so that's abundance money career um love uh your love in all aspects of all areas of your life and everything that you move forward with so you're moving forward with a real force you're a force to be reckoned with cancer so you're going into like i said the end of a very very difficult cycle in your life in the beginning where you didn't have the energy you had the motivation the will was there the desire was there the 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 want was there but it's kind of like the energy wasn't there and so now i see energy beginning to rev up and beginning of projects that have never not been there it's just that the energy wasn't there or for some reason something was lacking time energy motivation um maybe money but now you are crystallizing um what is at the forefront of to, what to do over the next year and by god are you going to do it that's kind of the outcome <laughs> you're gonna do it cancer but i'll get in more into the outcome in one second okay so for those of you who've never seen me before, if none of that resonates, then this is not your reading, okay? Like I said before, come back in two weeks time, two to three weeks, watch it then. And because time is fluid, sometimes things need to play themselves out in order for you to identify with the present position. Now, it's okay if it doesn't resonate with you. Just check out one of my other readings later on um, in the future, or even check out last month's reading. But, uh, if it does resonate with you, uh, that's great. Let's continue to take a look at what's going to be happening. So Spirit wants me to go into the challenge um, uh, and the outcome. And then I'm going to go into your strength. So this is going to be quite a blended reading here. We have wise counsel in the challenge and we have the seven of swords. So you're going to be dealing with something uh, cancer coming up in the immediate future here where there was betrayal deception people getting away with something thinking that they can get away with something and thinking that they can be really strategic in in what they were doing and and um uh kind of leave you with breadcrumbs leave you with uh, a certain sense of hope um, but all the meantime, knowing full well that they're taking all the ammunition with them, right? So this is some, this is a real situation of betrayal that is in the past, but is something that you're dealing with now. So there is something that you're going to have to take care of. Um, so the challenge is regaining control of mastery in taking responsibility for people that have wronged you or a person that has wronged you so there is a legal situation for some of you that is manifesting there is a uh and now i say legal because it comes out very strongly right here wise counsel so for, for those of you that are not going to be perhaps accessing an attorney i would say maybe you should um, especially if you're dealing with something to do with divorce or child support, alimony, or even looking at your legal representation if you have been accused of something in some way or somebody is gaslighting you in some way, especially if it's at work or to do, um, again, with like a personal situation to do with like divorce, alimony, child support, something like that. So uh, for those of you that can't relate to that, Spirit, do you want to tell me what this is? 
the, ch the challenge here is reaching out for wise counsel. Um, so you are in a situation that, you know, whether that be an attorney, wise counsel, right? Because I do see law here, um, but it's also somebody that is wiser than you, not um, better than you, just wiser in their life experience, in what they've gone through. You have tons of experience in whatever you've gone through, but sometimes it, we do help each other, right? So I do see you reaching out and uh, the challenge is reaching out for that wise counsel to guide you to manifest what it is that you wanna manifest over the next year. In the strength, what we have is, um, I love this energy for you, uh, such a flip, such a changing of energy and such a, such a lifting of the fog and the emotions and the, all the hidden depths that you have been going through. What we have in the strength is that you're gonna be back doing what you love, crafting out the life that you want, focusing strategically on manifesting um, something that is going to gain you recognition for the highest quality of work. So do make very special effort in the details in what you're creating. I keep seeing like labor of love, money, right? So something that you're crafting here, career, whatever, uh, whatever that is, wherever, whatever stage you are in your career. And for those of you that are transitioning into your gifts, right? So I see a lot of that happening here too. So wherever you are, you're now transcending to the next level. So let's say you've always been, you know, you're cancer, right? So you're always being intuitive, but maybe you've never practiced it. Maybe you know that you're intuitive, but you've never done anything formally with it, or you've done something formally with it, but you have been out of it for a while. Or maybe you are, um, you've been practicing for, I don't know, 15 years or something, and now it's re you're ready to take the next step. The student has become the master, okay? So that is definitely in your strength. Um, you're going to be paid well for your craft because of your diligence to detail, because of you know you're going to the next level. You're working well with others and there are people that are excited to work with you. There, you have an excellent reputation and um, your quality of work is going to speak for itself. And again, the spiritual side of you that I keep seeing coming forward here, uh, please do go to that next level, Cancer. You are now ready. So let's say, I don't know, you have a million followers on YouTube and um, you do tarot, right? Let's say. Um, then, you know, where are your classes for everybody, right? Because you're at that next level, right? So if you have, uh, you have a million followers and you've done your classes, then where is your book? right? If you've done the, you know, your YouTube channel, you have a million followers, you've done the classes, you've done the book, then where are you talking about it? Where is the next book, right? There is, you have a well of information inside of you and it is now time to share and become an expert. In your strength, making a left turn uh, um, here uh, to bring something else here into focus is love page of cups energy so for some of you it's pouring that love into what it is you want to manifest but for many of you for many of you it is um, creative opportunities intuitive messages curiosity about someone else someone being curious about you and a surprise in regards to sensitivity and a new love coming your way so there is something and dreaming about that, right? Manifesting that, understanding it is what you want and not shutting the door to it, right? So really taking action in that. And so again, it's a situation of, you know, you can't just sit there and wait for somebody to knock on your door. You do have to put yourself out there. And I do see you doing that. And I do see it being reciprocated. I do feel like it um, comes, I do feel the put, I, um, there's a there's a beautiful energy here for many of you um spirit just said water earth right so we have water earth energy here so um a grounding force comes into your life somebody is very grounded coming into your life now i say that this person is also a free spirit that's showing up as well so the future in the in regards to the strength your future is now um 
beyond what you can imagine right it's kind of like the world is your oyster and um, anything is a possibility so in the strength as you come together with this next person that i see coming in here and and again you know uh, spirit is pointing out wise counsel this person um could be in the form of um like a teacher of some sort a leader of some sort but they uh for many of you um that are not connected with anybody in a relationship i see it as a relationship for those of you that are looking so that is coming out super strong and because of that that opens up a um a possibility in your future that you'd never thought about and so i do see a lot of preparation and progress um enterprise expansion and even thoughts of overseas opportunities coming your way uh so your future really starts to you know where everything has been so difficult this last year the past year it feels like suddenly everything comes into it's like your spring i know we're heading into winter technically but not for you cancer it's like your spring um i did i did the challenge already spirit you want to tell me about the outcome here so spirit shows me you're letting go um of the past here in the six of cups you're letting go of the past it's really changed you here we have the 13th the the um the 13th um meaning the death card and the number 13 transformation and it comes from um a situation that again uh for many of you it was quite heartbreaking right we got the seven of swords here in the challenge and in the outcome we have um breakthroughs transforming out of that heartbreak leaving it behind leaving behind the suffering the grief the emotional pain the sorrow the hurt for those of you that went through any type of divorce loss depression um and and had to start a new chapter in your life and wasn't expecting to you are coming out of that that is an absolute and i see that really really clearly for you and i'm sorry that you had to go through that that looks like quite a painful process but um and for some of you uh, spirit tells me the number four so four years you've been going through that now here in the empress um what we have is the nurturer right you right this is this is so much cancer energy i know they say the moon card is cancer energy but i love the empress for you because to me this is like the epitome of cancer so the nurturer the empress the healer time to take action give birth to your dreams creative projects will be successful abundance and prosperity so this is your outcome right this is you just new beginnings again like i said it's winter for everybody else but um hello cancer because it's springtime for you it's just like you're it's just like um i can see i'm going way into the future now um i i can see the holidays i can see like thanksgiving that's an american holiday but i can see like the christmas period like it's very very beautiful very very organic very gorgeous lots of light lots of love lots of um empathy compassion and doing for others right so where others have done for you i feel you giving back and i also feel you being the source of strength for others and i feel an admiration towards you cancer i feel people are ad admiring your tenacity your ability to have focus your ability to get back up your ability to really shine your light very very brightly so that's showing up in the outcome again this page of pentacles right new person coming into your life shows up is as the king of pentacles um in the outcome of the reading so this person um there's going to be celebration here with this person uh there's going to be balance being brought into your life so feelings of not feeling so alone um feelings of possibility opportunities again this reciprocal relationship so now for those of you that are in relationship or don't want one or this has nothing to do with you maybe this is where the reading ends for you but for those of you that are interested in love um and the, again somebody new coming in here turns into the king of pentacles and the outcome so this is a person in the strength here in the beginning it's not two separate people it is one person coming in here 
and um, it feels like you bring out the best in them, they bring out the best in you, you want to be better because of them, they want to be better because of you, right, so you empower each other is what I see here in the Empress card here, and so there's a lot of celebration, there's a lot of friendship, collaboration, creativity, community, and happiness here in the outcome, and a beautiful balanced outcome it is, so I see you, where you, you know, were really drained and sucked dry of energy, um cancer i see that in the outcome that changes i see that your ability to give in different situation changes and so don't worry the energy comes back your ability to choose your life and, and design it the way you want to want it to be is going to happen so this is very 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 beautiful i see you know that it, listen cancer make it happen the holidays are going to be your time think of it as kickoff to 2024 to bring in um everything that you desire want and need because you know 2024 is definitely going to be your year cancer i hope that helped and i will speak to you soon